In this video tutorial, I'll be going over the basics of using a compressor. A compressor controls the dynamic range of an audio signal. It can either be a software plugin like the one I'll be using inside of Ableton Live, but it can also be found in hardware options. So before we get into how a compressor works in application, let's talk about what it does. A compressor basically lowers the amplitude of a signal above a certain threshold. You can see here that I have a threshold control and right now it's set to 0 dB. That means that the compressor will not act unless the signal that's coming in goes above 0 dB. If for example I change it to something like 16 or 15.6 as you see now, that means that any time the audio signal goes above minus 15.6 dB that compression will be applied. And threshold is the first of four parts that make up the basics of a compressor. I've already told you what the threshold is. That's the level that you start compression on an audio signal. Once it has reached this threshold, it's going to be applying compression at a certain ratio. The ratio is essentially the amount of change that you'll see between the input and the output. The higher ratio you have, the more compression will be applied. The other two settings on a compressor that are important to how it functions are attack and release, as you can see here. Attack is how quickly the compressor applies compression once the threshold has been hit, and the release is how quickly it stops compression after compression has been applied. Now that I've gone over the basics of these settings, let's show this in application. I'll start playing my track. Because the threshold is set to zero, and that the audio signal is not going above 0 dB, no gain reduction has been applied. Once I start lowering the threshold, you can see that we're applying the compression and that there is a fair amount of gain reduction. If I were to increase the ratio, you would see that the gain reduction is increased even further. If I were to change the attack time to a lower value, the compressor would be acting much faster. And if I increase the release time, you'll see that the gain reduction is slower. If I want to, I could now increase or decrease the output amplitude of the signal coming out of the compressor. And I can do that by adjusting the output gain so I could bring it back up to close to zero. Or if I wanted to, I could bring it down even further. Once again, this is just the basics of how to use a compressor. We'll be going into more details in future episodes.